Hello everyone, here is Dr. Sandhu from Business Management and Research Channel. In today's video, we will talk about ethical theories. We will talk about deontology, utilitarianism, rights and virtue. All these are four ethical theories. Overview. Ethical theories are part of the decision making. When ethics is at stake, since they represent the viewpoints that people seek guidance in making decisions. So this slide is focusing towards decision making by getting viewpoints from different perspectives. Due to the fact that ethical theories represent viewpoints from which individuals seek guidance when making decisions, ethical theories are part of the decision making foundation. Predicting the outcome and following one's duties to others are just two examples of how each theory emphasizes different points to, to reach an ethically correct conclusion. The fact that not everyone makes decisions the same way, using the same information and following the same rules, is critical to understanding ethical decision making for students and employees. A common set of goals that the scene makers seek to achieve is necessary to better understand ethical theory. Quote, a man without ethics is wild beast loosed upon this world. Albert Camus. Number one, deontology. The scene making when ethics are in play. Deontology is a theory that holds that actions are either good or bad based on set of rules. Very simple. That holds actions are either good or bad. Two points. Based on set of rules, what kind of rules are there? Dentology argues that activities are good or bad based on system of rules. The term dion means duty in Greek. Disobedience to these regulations is unethical. Kant's ethical philosophy is most closely connected with him. His study on persons shows deontology in action. Kant felt that reasoned thought define a person. Because every person has inherent dignity, which is basic to and held equally by everyone, personhood produces a range of rights and obligations. Because of this dignity, we are unable to act in certain ways towards others or ourselves. Most uh, crucially, Kant says that we should never approach a person as a resource. Dentology isn't limited to Kant's ethics. Any system based on rules is a sort of dentology. Hence the term rule-based ethic. Most dentologists distinguish between perfect and imperfect ethical responsibilities. A proper responsibility is rigid. Never kill innocent people is a perfect duty. It's either kill innocent people or don't. No middle ground. Imperfect obligations allow for some compromise. We may all fulfill our responsibilities to learn about the world around us by spending varying amounts of time on our education. Our imperfect tasks are up to us. Our motivation, which Kant called a maxim, is equally vital. We should fulfill our responsibility just because it is right. Self-interest, better outcomes or even happiness is not a deontologist's ethical justification. Respect for the moral law should motivate us. Utilitarianism means the ability to predict the consequences of an action is central to utilitarian ethical theories. Here, focus is towards two points, consequences and actions. According to utilitarianism, an action is right if it tends to promote happiness and wrong if it tends to produce sadness or the opposite of happiness. Not just actor's happiness, but the real happiness of everyone affected by it. When you act to make the office a positive environment for your co-workers and then make it so for yourself, 
you are demonstrating utilitarianism at work rights according to rights based ethics all humans have certain rights both positive and negative simply by virtue of being human natural or conventional rights natural rights are inherent whereas conventional rights are human created and reflect society's values here are certain important points that all human beings have rights rights can be negative or positive there are two types like uh, natural or conventional rights natural rights are inherent you get it from your parents whereas conventional you will conceive from society's values the term right can be defined as a justified claim that individuals and groups can make upon other individuals or upon society rights based ethics means that ethical behavior must uphold the rights of the people such as civil rights within a democracy rights can be legal in nature or they can pertain to morality or human rights for example the right to life right to live a free life this is your right the right to liberty that you have freedom to speak freedom to explain yourself among the society the right to pursue happiness that you got the right to work hard to bring financial happiness to your family so as to get a balance work and family life balance and to get happiness from your family from your kids the right to a jury trial that if you have been convicted for some crime then you must have right to present yourself before jury so as to take correct decision the right to a lawyer the right to freely practice a religion of choice so all these are examples of some rights virtue aristotle and other greeks developed virtue ethics it is the effort to comprehend and live a moral life aristotle claims that cultivating virtue will help people make ethical decisions character based ethics mind it assumes we learn virtue by doing honesty bravery justice generosity and other virtues form honorable and moral character aristotle claims that cultivating virtue will help people make ethical decisions ethicist mark white and robert arp used the film the dark knight to show the differences between three moral ideologies white and arp propose utilitarians kill the joker batman could save many lives by taking one deontologist on the other hand would not kill the joker but a virtue ethicist would underline the character of the joker's killer does batman want to be a killer no he doesn't thank you very much i hope you get the point if you have any question and you need some further clarification of certain theories you can contact me easily thank you very much best of luck